What's going on guys? In my hand, I have three crispy $20 bills. That equals $60. In this video, I'm gonna see if we can start an online business for less than $60. In fact, I'm actually gonna show you one of my businesses that I just started recently, and you might be surprised at how simple it actually is to get started, and I'm gonna show you step by step in this video how you can do it yourself, and I'm actually gonna show you my real business that I started. I'm gonna show you everything. You're gonna see it all. So make sure you strap in, because this is gonna be a very good video, and I'm gonna show you exactly how you can start your own business, and we're gonna see if you can do it for less than $60, which is really cheap compared to the cost of some businesses that most people start. Some businesses cost thousands of dollars to start. So let's jump into my computer and I'll show you exactly step by step how you can do this. And I'm gonna show you my own business that I just started doing this exact method for less than $60. All right guys, so what I'm gonna be doing in this video is showing you how I'm starting a business online with less than $60. And you can go and do this exact same thing. So I'm gonna take you through how you can do it and how I'm doing it. So you can see that this is real and you can actually make money online. I do understand that a lot of people don't have a lot of money. Um, you will need a little bit of money to start uh, something online, but you can do it for quite cheap under $60. Now the first step to this video is quite simple. Um, obviously we're gonna be doing this for less than $60, but the next step is we need a method. So I'm gonna kind of go over the method that I'm doing in a second and show you step by step what I'm doing and how I'm setting everything up. But we need a method. So in this video, the method that I'm using is affiliate marketing plus another method that we'll talk about later on in this video. So make sure you stay to the end to see that method. It's a new method that I'm testing out and it's pretty cool. Now affiliate marketing is when you make money uh, via commissions, via a product that you promote. Now this is a step-by-step -step video. So once you have the method figured out, the next thing you need to do is for this particular method is decide what the topic is gonna be. Now for this method, you can do a topic on anything, it doesn't matter. So I recommend you um, do something on something that you're interested in like a hobby. So just think of something you're interested in. It could be cars, it could be gaming, it could be knitting, it could be gardening. Just think of something that you're interested in. This is usually how I start my online businesses. Uh, it can be anything, cooking, it doesn't matter. So something that you're interested in, because first of all, it's fun. If you're actually interested in something and you're working on you know, your job or you're making money from something that you're actually interested in, that's always a fun thing to do. Uh, and next, you it's just easier that way. It's easier for you to come up with content and all that sort of stuff if you do stuff based on something that you're interested in. Now, for this particular training, and this is actually real, I'm actually doing this, we're gonna be using the fishing topic and I'm gonna show you my business in a second that I'm starting for under $60 based on the fishing industry or the fish, fishing niche, okay? So just pick something that you're interested in. It's much easier to work uh, with this method. Now, the next step is we need to uh, go and get a website. This is literally the only cost that you're gonna have in this training, okay? So for example, I'm gonna take you through and show you how easy quickly to pick a plan and get a website. Now you might be thinking, I don't want a website. I don't want to spend money. Just do it. Every single business online has a website. You need a website when you're trying to make money online. You really can't get around it. You need a website. I have hundreds of websites in my business. So this is bluehost.com. Uh, if you do decide to go through my link, I will get a, a commission from the affiliate link. Um, but you click get started. And you need to have a website, guys, this is so important. And then I recommend clicking the $2 basic plan, okay? And then you get a free domain name. So your domain name is gonna be based off something that um, something that you choose, right? So in this actual um, train, in, in this actual tutorial, I have a website called Angler's Crate that we're gonna be um, going, um, Angler's Crate that we're gonna be going over soon. So anglerscrate.com was the website, so maybe, um, knitting fanatic or something like that, right? And this is free. So I'm just gonna put some letters here. Then on the next page, you choose your plan. So you wanna get rid of all of this stuff. You don't need any of this stuff here. Turn off. And you wanna go 12 months for $4.95 and it's gonna cost you $59, okay? Simple. That's the only cost in doing this. Once you've done that, it'll take you through the process. It'll set it all up for you, easy. Once you've done that, what we need to actually do is it'll tell you how to set up WordPress and stuff like that. Once you've actually set that up, you'll come to a dashboard that looks like this. And this is the real site, the real business that I'm starting. If we click go to here and we go to view site, 
This is the website that we're going to be talking about in this video, so make sure you pay attention. Um, the next step is obviously to write content, but we are going to come back to that in a second because I want to talk about how we're going to actually make the money and why it doesn't matter what niche you go into. So the first way we're going to make money with this method is what we call Amazon Associates. So you become an affiliate by promoting Amazon products. That's why it doesn't matter what niche you do because there's literally products in any niche on Amazon. And if we go to one of my articles here that I've created, um, that I'm actually editing right now, if we go and look at this article, you'll see that I have affiliate links going to Amazon. So this um, article is 21 best fly, f uh, fly fishing flies that catch fish. We're actually going to change that, that catch trout. Um, and you can see these are affiliate links. So when people click on these links, it goes to Amazon and I get a commission. Okay, I make money when people purchase these products. Um, and if we go back, there's more affiliate links here. The only cost, guys, is the website hosting. Articles are free. I actually pay for my articles, but they can be free for you um, when, when you start, right? And this one here, it goes to Amazon as well. So how do you set this up? The first step, once you actually have your, and I'm going to show you a secret little method in a second, guys, to make more money, so make sure you stay to the end. But the first thing you want to do is you want to get a website theme because your theme is going to look like garbage. Now, this one here that I use costs me money. But what you want to do is go to this website here. I'll leave a link below. It'll be an affiliate link. Um, MyThemeShop.com Themes and Schema. And go down here and click Download Free Version. This is the great theme. I use it when I'm starting on a lot of my affiliate marketing websites. Okay, Download Free Version. And you download that. And you go into your website backend. You go to Appearance, Themes. And you simply upload the theme. Okay. If you want to know the one I'm using on my website, it's called Akabado. You can go and Google that, but it costs money. So if you want to do this for under 60 bucks, just get a free theme. Now, the next step, guys, is you might be wondering, how do I figure out what to write content about? This website is getting a little bit of traffic right now. It's not getting much because I started it about six months ago and I haven't really worked on it because I've been busy, but I'm just going to be starting it again now. I actually just sent 13 articles to my writer. Um, but I just write content based on specific topics. So bass fishing, trout fishing, saltwater fishing, um, ice fishing, um, lake fishing, all that sort of stuff, right? This is a specific just fishing website. What I do is I go to, um, and, and actually, let me show you a great example of a Amazon site that's making a lot of money. So this website makes hundreds and thousands per month. And you can see that, like, think about it like this. I've been actually um, looking to buy, I, bought, I was looking to buy a monitor for my computer for like six weeks. It took me six weeks to finally pull the trigger on a monitor because I needed one that was um, 144 megahertz, 4K and all that sort of stuff. And I was doing research. I was doing about four to five weeks of reading reviews and I purchased through someone's affiliate link. People are constantly looking at, re uh, at reviews and they wanna purchase products. So this is a great Amazon affiliate site here. If we click on this link, it takes people to Amazon, okay? This is just an example that I've put up here. You don't have to have yours that nice. Uh, my one, we're gonna be putting buttons in soon and make it all nice, but that's the problem. People worry about making it too nice at the start. Do not worry about that. This is what I do. What you want to do is go to answerthepublic.com and you want to get content ideas. So I'm going to put in something like um, bass fishing. So bass fishing. Now you can use the free version of this. I use the free version. It's fine. I think like four or five tries a day. If we go down, it has all of these questions. How much are bass fishing boats? Um, a bass, I uh, don't know what that one means. Is bass fishing a sport? Why bass fishing is the best? You see, the reason I don't care about the topics is because, you know, you get all I want is those clicks to Amazon. It doesn't really matter. Like, yes, you will make less money on um, on keywords that are not like buyer intent is what we call them. But I don't really care about that. I just want to go out and write content based on specific um, things. So what is bass fishing? What length bass fishing rod? So you can do what is the best um what is the best length bass fishing rod for deep lakes? What is the best bass fishing rod for shallow lakes? What is the best bass fishing rod for dirty lakes? What is the best bass fishing rod for clear lakes? That's four topic ideas, articles, that I just span off the top of my head right then that you can go and write. So there's really no excuse not to be writing content. And this is all I do, guys. I get all of these ideas and I go and send them to my article writers so you can write the articles yourself. 
Now, do I care about search volume? No, the reason I don't care about search volume is because I just wanna pump out as much content as possible and let Google do its job. Google will figure out where to put you and it'll, put, it'll figure out where to rank you. And we have some articles that can rank for thousands of keywords. So even if we get one visit per day from one of those keywords, and we might rank for maybe 900 keywords, it's 900 visits for, per day just from one article. Google will not just rank you for one keyword, it will rank you for hundreds, if not thousands of keywords if you do a good article. So once you've got some ideas, all you wanna do is go back to your website and go to post, all post, and then click add new. And then once this loads, um, you will have some articles here. So you simply just add your title. So let's just do what is the best bass rod for deep lakes, right? Okay, so that's my title done. And then I just start writing some content. Now, to give you kind of some context on what kind of content I write, uh, if we go to something like um, trout fishing fly rod, the best alternatives here, we write quite a bit of content. So um, this might seem like quite a lot to you, but we just do huge amounts of content. You don't have to do so. You usually keep your articles between 1500 to 2000 words when you're starting. Okay, and here we go. Um, we've got all this content here. We usually do a little snippet, like a little bit of an intro with some keywords and stuff in it. And then we do like why I don't like to use fly rods, why you should use a spinning reel setup instead. We break everything down into sections. Now, if you have any trouble and you don't know how, what, what kind of sections to do, we'll sometimes do questions, okay? So let's say um, trout fishing, um, let's go actually to another example, seven things you need to start trout fishing. Um, see how it says here, what do I need to start trout fishing? And then go down, and I think we have some more, I'm not too sure. Oh, we don't have any more, but you can break your article up into questions. And it's much easier because they those also kind of add as like, they kind of like act as mini articles for Google to kind of um, go and rank those as well. Okay, and then what you do guys is just start writing content. Hey, this is my site. It's great. I love fishing. Obviously, you would um, do something a little bit better than that. And then you can just go and publish your content. Now, what I would recommend you do is go and um, go and simply, oh, so yeah, here's, here's, our, here's our article. Go and get a search engine optimization plugin. I don't actually need one for this uh, website, but if you go to plugins and then you go to search engine optimization, SEO, you can get a plugin that you can add to your website. And um, oh, I've actually got one here, Rank Math. So if we go to add new plugin, sorry, and we go to SEO, you can get an SEO plugin. And what will happen is you, once you install that on your website, you'll be able to edit the articles. So let's go into um, Google right here and go best trout fishing rod. And if we look down here, what, what, what these plugins do is they edit what shows up in Google. So you put in your keywords and stuff, okay? And that's how that works. I've got lots of videos on my channel if you wanna check those out. I've, I'll actually leave some in the description telling you how you can rank your websites in Google. Now, another way that you can make money from this, guys, is to actually have ads on your uh, website as well. So when we have ads, we have Google ads, and when people click on those ads, we make money. So when people click on the Amazon ads and uh, Amazon links and buy something, we make money. But when people click on the Google ads, we make money just from a click. Now this is awesome because it doesn't matter what type of keywords we go for. We can go for keywords, it doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be buyer intent keywords or anything like that. We can go for any type of keywords we want. So that's why I love to do Google ads as well. I'm really diving into that now. Basically what I'll do is I'll get this website to like maybe, I don't know, 10,000 visits per month, then I'll activate the ads. Okay, and it won't take me long. I'll be able to do that in maybe three or four months. It does not take me long at all. But this is what I'm doing, guys. I'm going out and creating these little niche websites, and these are literally costing me no more than $60 per 
year. In fact, they cost me less than that because I go on the lower plan that's around about $30 per year. And you can literally start a business online for less than $60. And I recommend Amazon because then you can do uh, any, you can do a website on any topic you want. It doesn't matter. Just pick one of your hobbies and start to create content about it. Start to build websites based on that topic. Now, if you want to learn more about building affiliate marketing websites, I will leave a video up on the right. It's a completely free video that takes you through step by step how to create your own affiliate marketing website. I take you through everything, what to do and how to rank your articles. And I'll also leave a playlist up there that you can click for more tutorials. Don't forget to subscribe, tap that notification bell, and I'll see you in one of the videos on the right.